is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we are diving back into some sdcc type material brad because i have to go over it i did this last year i do believe and it was a ton of fun to do because it kind of reminds me of what's to come and just taking a quick look back at sdcc not even gonna lie to you like uh, i was running through the photos trying to come up with my top 10 figures from sdcc this year and i was like oh my god we are getting that aren't we like it kind of triggered in my brain that like i i completely forgot we were getting things literally days after getting things so if that tells you anything Brad I don't know but here today guys like I said we're gonna be going through my top 10 favorite figures or top 10 figures that I want the most or I'm most hyped for from SDCC 2021 man it was probably the craziest day of, of reveals that I have seen in a while as far as like just the random assortment of things that we got the different lineups that we got the different figures and guys that we got I would say it was the most insane day ever I, I will say that I'll go on record and say that like we didn't get the typical stuff whatsoever so without further ado guys let's go ahead and dive into my top 10 figures that I'm most excited for so diving into it first man starting out with number 10 now I could have mentioned a lot of honorable mentions but I'm just going to start off with number 10 with this figure it may shock you a little bit guys but I'm going with the elite Damien Priest this figure looks insane it may even be one of the best figures of the year they said that they tooled like new legs like with new sculpts we already saw like a sample of the figure on the uh i think it was like the little talking sdcc live stream that was done on ringside collectibles uh you know their youtube channel bill was there he was mentioning it and he pulled up the figure man great formula great looking figure amazing head sculpt great attire i guess the only thing that's going to depend is if we get like a cloth accessory or or what we get with this figure man but it looks insane and i don't even like damian priest that much but uh, this figure right here makes me want to plug him into some stable or something and run him down the ramp. You know what I'm saying? So this Damian Priest looks absolutely insane. Could not leave it out of my top 10. Even though I'm not a fan of him, the figure is so bomb I had to put him at number 10. Coming in at number 9, man, I, this may shock you. I don't know. It may not shock you. But I'm going with the They Live Roddy Piper, man. This figure looks great. And you're probably just going to be like, oh, well, Brad, it's just, a, it's just a Dean Ambrose repaint with a Rowdy Roddy Piper head sculpt. Yes, to a certain extent, that is correct. But I love I love the light jean color. I love the white, uh, the white tank top here. I love the cloth shirt here with the flannel. I, I think that people are going to be able to make some amazing street gears and street promo guys using this figure. Daniel Bryan is one that comes to mind. You know, he used to be the GM and he would put on the shirt and everything like that. You could probably put some things together and create that. I mean, there's so many great things with this line, with the new Hollywood line that I'm so excited about. And this Roddy Piper is just so sick, man. If you get it, put the glasses on there. Throw a, like, pump shotgun on him from one of your NECA figures or something like that. And you could have a really cool figure right there to display there but I, I really like this figure I think it looks great and it's going to make for some cool fix-ups and things of that nature which really really excites me moving up to number eight man you probably expected this to be higher but I'm going with the Adam Cole and the War Games gear I think this is the chase variant of the elite Adam Cole that we're going to be getting very soon love this finally getting it in hand this had to go on my top 10 just because we've been waiting on it so long I will say that my hype for the figure kind of died down a little bit like I really wanted it in the fan takeover series you know we kind of missed out on that so then I used what a Kyle O'Reilly and I kind of made my own makeshift Adam Cole in the War Games gear and that kind of has been a placeholder for me of course this one's going to be better because it's going to have updated head double jointed arms and all these accessories and I'm going to be able to you know he comes on ball joints most of the time so I'll probably be, he'll be more poseable he'll feel better in the hand compared to that one but that's why it's still one of my list but it wasn't higher on the list because of those reasons you know it's kind of died down with the hype undisputed era no longer a thing like you know it's just a bunch of different things I am very excited for it however I wasn't as excited for it as other things so that is my number eight figure as adam cole in the war games game. coming in at the number seven spot man i don't know if this will shock you or not i'm going mustafa ali this figure looks amazing really excited for this one the head sculpt looks great it looks like they did tweak his head sculpt size so hopefully this will be that i know his last figure had true effects but i feel like this one's gonna nail it even more i really like the way that this head sculpt looks i love the gear too i know it's kind of a black and white gear but it looks so sick you get the cloth t-shirt interchangeable hands i mean this guy's gonna be a great figure figure Mustafa Ali and it's going to be a great contrast between his chase variant and his yellow figure his red and yellow will look really good on the shelf next to the black and I'm really excited for the Mustafa Ali and this is a heel Mustafa Ali so you know if you want to run him in your feds as a heel or as a part of a heel faction or something that will look really great but this Mustafa Ali is superior to his Elite 69 figure 
and that is awesome to me. I think it looks great, and I love Mustafa Ali. Coming up to number six spot, man, I am rolling with the Ultimate Edition Kane figure. Maybe you expected it to be higher. I'm not exactly sure. I think the only thing that I'm not really liking about this figure is maybe the mask sculpt. It is better than that new basic one, and I am thrilled that it is different, but I will say, I, I don't know. I, I just, I'm worried about the scaling as well. I hope that his proportions are really good compared to the Undertaker. It looks good in all these images. Like, it definitely crushes the Undertaker, in my opinion. I feel like the Undertaker's torso mold is a little too big, but I really like this Kane figure, and I think this is probably our best Kane we've ever gotten. Double jointed arms, you know, uh, the sculpted belt is really sick. They actually paid attention to the details in the boots, which is so appreciated, man. I cannot stress that enough. I love the way this figure looks. Can't wait to get it in hand. You guys know he's on Vindication, so so maybe this figure will pose around well enough to use him. It's just good stuff all around, man. Really digging this figure a lot. I had to get Ultimate Edition Kane onto my list. Coming in at number five, man, I'm going with the Elite Hulk Hogan that we got to see. Now, apparently this is supposed to be from SummerSlam 05. I think there are some inaccuracies with that. But just getting a Ruthless Aggression era of Hulk Hogan is really big for me. Like, just collecting his figures is really fun. Again, not the biggest Hulk Hogan fan, man, but his figures are just really nice. At least the, the ones that we've been getting since he's came back or since he's gotten, you know, his deal coming back and all of those different things. All of his figures have been really good so far. Really ex excited for his Ultimate Editions. Also, I'm, I'm not including Ultimate Edition Jeff Hardy or Hulk Hogan in this because uh, we already saw those before SDCC. That wasn't really a reveal there, so... I'm not going to include those guys, even though those probably would have been on my list. They may have been in last year's video's renders. I can't even remember, honestly, but this Elite Hulk Hogan looks great. I can't wait to get him in here, you know, maybe fix him up a little bit. He's going to have double jointed arms as well. True effects technology. I mean, it's going to be a great figure as well. So number five is going to be Hulk Hogan. This one probably is a surprise for you. I don't know. You, you may be just lost all over your top ten, but coming in at number four, man, I'm going with the Hollywood Elite Scorpion King Rock figure. You're probably like, why in the blue hell would you want that? Now, you guys did not know, 2000, 2001 is probably my favorite years of wrestling. Like, that's around the time that I started watching wrestling every single week as a, as a young kid. And I remember just, like, that being, like, some of my favorite memories of wrestling. And around that time is when, you know, The Rock went away, did the Scorpion King movie. And I remember playing Just Bring It, WWF Just Bring It. And one of the preset creator wrestlers on that game was pretty much just like the Scorpion King. And not only all of those nostalgia feels that I'm feeling, for the figure. I also think the figure just looks great. He also has double jointed arms here in this thing. You got these new parts going on, these creative boot modes and stuff, and it just really creates like a, I don't know, not only the nostalgia, like I said, but it's just a really fun figure. It looks like it's going to be super fun to pose around. You can do some really funny things with your figures, really creative fix-ups, and just, just a lot of stuff that you can do with this figure, so I'm just super excited to get it. This is, you know, Series 2 of the Hollywood Elites, but I'm, I'm very much looking forward to this figure. I hope it is as good as this looks, you know, and the head sculpt comes out good. It does look like this is probably hand-painted, but it's still really dope, man. Can't wait to get the Scorpion King Rock Elite. Coming in at number three, man, I am going with Randy Orton, the new Elite Randy Orton from WrestleMania. This figure looks insane, man. I remember as soon as he walked out down the ramp, out the entrance, man, I think I had like 100 or or like 50 to 100 people tagging me on social media talking about the white gear because you guys knew I was probably losing my mind, and I absolutely was. I knew they had to make this in figure form. I remember you know, tagging Bill and tagging Steve and all of our posts saying, we gotta have this figure, and here it is, man. Gift wrap with a bow. Looks absolutely beautiful. Can't wait to get the figure in hand. Hopefully it's the best Orton. He's got mic holding hands as well. Head sculpt looks great. The white gear is just super sick, and it allows for, you know, other creative things to do with it as well. You know, we could switch out the knee pads. You could use those knee pads for other guys. You could use the white trunks. There's just a lot of stuff going on, man, but the Randy Orton figure is so sick, and he's gonna have double jointed arms, so, I mean, dude, this is, this is the best Randy Orton they've ever made. Who knows if he'll come with any other, you know, hooded accessory or cloth accessory, or if he just gets the goggles, whatever the case is, man. What a sick figure, and I am super hyped. Coming in at the number two ranking, man, has to be the Ultimate Edition Legends Batista figure. This looks outstanding. New Year's Revolution 05 gear. Great looking head sculpts, the screaming head sculpts, and the, and the curly hair. I have to try track down as many of these as possible. The fix-ups and the customs we're going to be able to do. It comes with both contracts. Such an iconic moment. And also, the evolution storyline of Batista and Randy Orton and Triple H and all of the way they formed their own pads and how they built themselves up. And Batista run winning the Royal Rumble and choosing Triple H 
mansion, getting betrayed after he did all his dirty work and all of these things. The whole, the whole storyline from the creation of Evolution, from the bounty all the way to the bitter end and the matches thereafter and, you know, the long-standing Evolution storyline and feud is one of my favorites of all time. And this figure encaptures one of my favorite moments ever and watching it live and everything. Have to get this, have to, like, this is just why we collect right here, man. The figures like this with moments like this and just not to mention the, the great looking pieces of the figure and the cloth accessories bro this is this is amazing and after all of that that's only number two it honestly could have took the number one spot man but at number one has to be rob van dam elite in the tiger stripes now we've been begging for this for years i've been begging for this for years i've been talking about this figure for years it's been on my fantasy lineup it's been in predictions and wants lists and wish lists and all these different things man and finally here it is confirmed for us it's gonna look beautiful with the true effects i imagine you know it does have the it's gonna have double jointed arms and since he's in my fed and since you know i'm gonna get to pose this guy around i just can't wait for it, man it's gonna be such a beautiful deal the figure looks insanity i just can't even like th there's no doubt about it that this had to be number one just simply because we've been waiting on it for so long and all the things that tie into it but bro this this figure right here won the weekend no doubt about it for me i know a lot of people were looking forward to it as well but yeah man that has to be in my top 10 so running through it right quick we got priest piper cole mustafa ali ultimate edition kane hulk hogan scorpion king randy orton ultimate batista and Elite RVD is my top 10, man. Like I said, it was an absolute insane day of reveals for SDCC, but I wanted to run through my top 10. I would love to know what your favorite top three figures are maybe down below. If you want to give me 10, give me 10. But man, what a what a great week. What a great weekend of reveals, bro. I absolutely had a ton of fun. But I think that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Let's get into a random shout out before we get out of here. And this shout out's going to go to Christopher Carranza, who says, MDT, when is the pick fed coming back? I miss it a lot because it was so fun. And I really appreciate that, Christopher. You know, I'm working on it slowly. I I even replied to this and said, you know, slowly but surely, I'm working on it, I promise you. I want it back more than anybody in the world, and I'm just, I'm slowly, slowly but surely working on it, man. It's gonna be worth it once we get it back, and I feel like once the first one is posted, we'll be rolling. It's just getting that first show back done and all of those different things. I can't, I've, I've re-watched Hell's Gate. I've re-watched Vindication episode 16. I've re-watched MDT Live 16 and I'm so intrigued and excited to show you guys the continuation of the storylines and where we go and everything like that. It's just getting everything done and squared away for you guys but I don't even know if I will uh, hype it up anymore man. I may just post it up like out of nowhere so huge shout out to Chris for that comment man. Let me know what your favorite figures from SDCC are and I will see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line. Cross the line!